In this tutorial, we'll be covering plugins in Snatchbot. Now, you can think of plugins as connections to external services that allow you to pull those services in and access them directly via the chatbot. It's a great way to bring value to your users with powerful functions. So to get started, select My Bots from the left-hand menu, and then select the chatbot that you wish to edit. In this case, we'll use Munch. So to add a new plugin, go to the, new, the Add New Interaction slash Plugin button. And rather than the standard collected interactions, what we want is plugins. And as you can see, there are five, eBay, Giphy, Weather, Calendar, and Jira. So eBay, as you can see, if we just select Add, comes pre-built and allows you to search eBay quickly for various items, as you can see with a text call like that. It's relatively simple, but very powerful. The next is Giphy. And as lots of GIFs are used, this is a quick and easy way to collect GIFs or pass them along in the chatbot. Now you can see this shows it a little bit better than eBay as there are multiple steps. But the nice thing about these plugins is it does a lot of the work for walking through not just the structure of how it gets the GIFs, but also how you talk to people in your chatbot. For example, with before I even add anything or edit any of the copy, you already have a very well set up flow, for example. Let's say, following these prompts, gifts. Don't need 50, let's say three. And we're going to say, let's say dogs. So oh, just like that, I have my three gifts of dogs. And then it'll once again generate, what would you like to search? Gifts or stickers. Next up, we have the weather interaction. Now this is another one where it's broken out already into three. And I'll give you a quick walkthrough. Let's say, Rondo. Let's say current weather, and we use Celsius. And there we have it. So that's a very powerful function and honestly could be much faster than going to a different website and searching your city and such. It's quick and it's easy. Next up, you can also connect to Google calendars. So I'll show you how to do that. You'll follow along in the test to actually connect with Google calendars in this case. So what you'll have to do here is just type anything and that'll kick off a URL that you need. Afterwards, you'll click that link it allows you to choose the Google account that you want to use. And what you're then going to do once you've selected that is grab this URL, come back here, and drop it in. And then you can go through and you can select the calendar that you want to use. You can show, you can create, update. So you can see no upcoming events. And it's a very straightforward way to move this functionality into your chatbot. And finally, we have the Jira plugin. Now, this you'll need to have a Jira domain in order to fully complete the setup for it. But this is a great way if you're using Jira for managing your projects or customer service or anything like that to move it within the chatbot, especially if you do have a customer service heavy chatbot or focusing on project management. So that's it and that's all for plugins. Very simple, but very powerful and focused on the widest uses possible. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and look forward to seeing your results.